Donald Trump is melting down over President Joe Biden calling attention to the fact that Trump has said horrible things and believes horrible things about those who have sacrificed everything for our country and those who have served our country. And Biden pointing this out, his team doing it through an ad, clearly got to Trump because right after the ad was dropped, Trump was ranting at a speech I'll show you about this and on Truth Social. So before looking at what Trump had to say, I will play this ad for you. Let's see. President Joe Biden captioned it. Donald Trump doesn't know a damn thing about service to his country. And here's the ad. We looked at it on the bonus show. Just brutal stuff. He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured. me his purple heart. I always wanted to get the purple heart. <laughs> this was much easier. And now that I'm watching this, I'm thinking we may have covered it on the main show, not the Trump's response yet, but this ad and powerful stuff. So it it uh, is justified to go over a second time. But let me just again read to you for our podcast listeners in particular the quotes, and then we'll look at Trump's response. Why should I go to the cemetery? Oh, wait. It's filled with losers. That's the key, key quote. He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, he said about John McCain. I don't get it. What was in it for them? Talking about or talking to the father of a fallen soldier. Suckers, referring to fallen Marines. He knew what he signed up for, Trump said to the widow of a fallen soldier. We're not going to support that loser's funeral, Trump said about John McCain. That guy's smart. Why did he join the military, Trump said. It doesn't look good for me, Trump said about standing near wounded soldiers. He handed me his purple heart, and then you heard that part on a tape. So disgusting, disgusting stuff there from Trump. And the New Republic reports Trump's pissed. Biden reminded people of his insult to dead soldiers. Donald Trump went nuts over the weekend over an ad from the Joe Biden campaign highlighting Trump allegedly calling dead soldiers suckers and losers. The ad was posted on Friday afternoon with a tagline, Donald Trump doesn't know a damn thing about service to his country. And then at a Las Vegas rally on Sunday, it goes on to explain what we'll go ahead and watch for ourselves, which is first this. They make up stories, disinformation, a story like that. Think of it from a practical standpoint. I'm standing there with generals and military people in a cemetery. And I look at them, I say, these people are suckers and losers. Now, think of it. Unless you're a psycho or a crazy person or a very stupid person, who would say that anyway? But who would say it to military people, with military? Because as President of the United States, I would say if I made that statement... I'm trying. For the both of our sake. Click the subscribe button. If I have generals here, if I have it, I would imagine that most of them would end up in a major fist fight with the president, okay? And you know what? I would have said it was okay in that one instance. There's no, they made up a story. They just, out of thin air, just like a lot of the fake stories are made up by these people, because they're among the most dishonest people in the country. Right. And uh, he can say, you know, that response reminded me of how he responded to the allegations from E. Jean Carroll, now a jury uh, determined in a civil trial that they were true allegations and that Donald Trump had sexually abused E. Jean Carroll. The judge clarified that we refer to what he did as rape. And 
whenever he was talking about what E. Jean Carroll accused him of, he would sort of just go, listen, listen to this story, and then would just say it in a sort of aggrieved tone of voice. But when it really refuted, it, it would just be, this, imagine if I did that. That would be crazy. And it's a similar thing here. Can you imagine if I ever did that? No, we can't, but you did. And the very generals that you're saying you respect, at this time he was no longer actively serving, but General John Kelly was one of the people who publicly went on the record as saying, you said that. And so the very people you're saying you would never disrespect in that way are among the people recounting this experience. Again, including the person who was Trump's chief of staff and who served in the military. And he confirmed this after, long years after it was reported in the Atlantic. Then he came out and said, yeah, I heard that remark. And uh, it's, it's sick stuff for sure. And then Trump posted this. <clears throat> Crooked Joe Biden Biden, the worst president in the history of the United States, just confused Ukraine with Iraq. He actually doesn't know the difference. Probably gets money from both the Manchurian candidate. He also said in another Democrat disinformation hit job like Russia, 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 the 51 intel agents or the fake Pfizer reports that I called dead American soldiers, losers and suckers. Who would ever say such a thing? Only a sicko with an axe to grind would suggest that anyone would make such a statement. They even made these horrific words into an advertisement, which shows how desperate they are. No president, especially dumb as a rock, Joe Biden, has done more for our military than Donald J. Trump. The military hates crooked Joe Biden. All the failure he represents, take down the fake ad, Joe, and stop the unprecedented weaponization of justice against your political opponent. You're destroying our country. They hit a nerve. That's really interesting. Rarely does Trump directly respond to Biden campaign ads, but this clearly is rattling Trump. It was an aggressive emphasis of the word rattling. Um, obviously, he says in a new post, I never said the dead soldiers are losers and sucker. Who would say such a thing? It was made up, disinformation by radical left Democrats and Trump haters working with a failing magazine just like Russia, 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 Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. By the way, I say again, no longer do we have to rely on the anonymous reporting from the Atlantic because John Kelly came out and said, indeed, that is something that uh, Trump said. So why is Trump not specifically refuting John Kelly's testimony on that? Strange. Ukraine fights a fraud of 51 intelligence and so much more. Anytime you see the despicable fake statement used, remember that it comes from the fascist scum that is destroying our country. My goodness. Nobody has done more for the military than Donald Trump. Okay, yes, we get it. He's really triggered. And that means that he sees the potential destructiveness of this reporting and of an ad like that that is powerful from the Biden campaign. And I think while MAGA has apparently been okay with all of this, I think maybe he believes that would be a bridge too far. But guess what? And this is what really can cause me to have a horrible rest of my night if I consider this too long. People that I've just recently talked to can look past that. They can. And do you want to know one of the ways we know that? Because some of what was in that ad had nothing to do with reporting. It was an audio tape of Trump saying that John McCain, that he like that Trump likes people who aren't captured. Those are the heroes, not the people who are captured and get tortured in service of their country, like John McCain did. And Trump, who dodged the draft, is uh, willing to say that. And MAGA and Republicans voting for Trump, they're okay with that. They are looking past it. And I know, and I just want to sort of bring this back to home base where I, I want to end a lot of segments or at least bring a lot of segments back to. I know there are a lot of people out there screaming, right, about all sorts of things. And we're in a divided time. And it's easy to fall into just constant alienation of the other side. My message is not that you're horrible or too far gone or anything like that to, to a MAGA person. It's that I believe enough in most Americans, including hopefully you, and I'm thinking of the people I've recently had conversations with, 
to believe it doesn't make sense based on your values for you to be okay with this guy. That's what disturbs me. It would be one thing to just believe enough of the country is whacked to support him. I don't think that's it. I think something's wrong in where you're getting your information. You're misperceiving the situation enough where you think that he's more acceptable than he is or something. And stop it. Stop looking past this stuff. This is who he is. And you're being lied to often about Biden to make this not seem as bad. Snap out of it. Let me know what you thought of all that in the comments. Oh, it hurts. Why are people okay with this? I don't know. If you want to get the daily bonus show, you can do so by clicking the join button below.